Hello, who's there? Hey, Dad. Uh, look who's there. Um, hmm. Can't see anything. Uncle. I can't see anything. The Uncle Kai. Yeah, the internet's too bad. Dad, I, I, uh? I want to ask you that question again. How is the internet connection at Prey's Farm with super fast Cornwall? It's not, it's no difference to what it was ten years ago. It's got slower, if anything. Yeah, that's the problem right there. That's the problem. Come on. Hello from Singapore, a place I, uh, I've moved to from, from Cornwall purely because I can't live and work in Cornwall because the internet is so bad. And that's the follow-up video to my previous video I made uh, at home in, in Cornwall um, and before um, coming back out to uh, Singapore. So as you can see, my Singapore connection, I just, uh, I perfed uh, um, a digital ocean host. You can see that I have, a, I have about a gigabit connection. And um, it's symmetric and um, in, in England my parents have 0 0.4. And in my last video, as you'll well know, I was saying that uh, Superfast Cornwall was is, is a scandal, a waste of taxpayers' money, and didn't really improve anything. And fundamental pr problems exist, like the the last mile or two in a rural area being copper, which is uh, just terrible. Um, so my parents have a zero point four connection, and that's why I struggle to communicate with them. So let's let's um, let's uh, resume from where I left off. Um, I did a freedom of information request where I I asked how much they um, Superfast Cornwall spent, and it's not clear, but it's a total investment of 136 million has been spent on the Superfast Cornwall program. It just boggles the mind. I later then got an e um, got in, um, in in contact through my thanks to my YouTube video with a, uh, a Julian um, uh, Julian Cowens, who who basically also um, told me where to find this number, which is sort of buried in a PDF on the Superforce Cornwall page, and and there's a the number again somewhere here, 132, a little bit less than what I got from from the Cornwall County Council, so. I I ended the last video with the um, with uh, with with saying that hopefully the future for for Superfast will be better given better access to ducks and poles, which which Ofcom has recently uh, proposed. But when I um, uh, asked my ISP, the esteemed uh, Andrews and Arnold in the UK, who I highly recommend about uh, getting this work done. Um, and, and, and Julian Cowens from, from the sort of Superfast Cornwall program basically said that it is possible. He, he gave me this link here that like, you know, access to duct and poles, which, which, which sounds great. But when you get down to the uh, sort of uh, the details, uh, I was given this gigantic uh, Word document, which um, sort of somehow explains the sharing and 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 also the the costs associated with uh, with OpenReach's um, service to do that it's it's just too complicated it's really just it's there's a no go basically um, I I also um, asked my Andrew Andrews and Arnold if they could somehow do something about it and you know I think they're bent over backwards when going back and forth with their, with OpenReach. And um, basically, they they came back to me, sort of giving giving up because because they, they, they there's no competitors to OpenReach because you need to have all these sort of like you know code powers and quality you know have to meet all these rules and regulations ISO nine thousand nine thousand one PECN certified and, um, and and since there's no competition to OpenReach since there's no one with all these qualifications. That can meet all the 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 very very complex rules and regulations to 
to basically lay a fiber optic cable to, to the, uh, the cabinet a kilometer away. Um, I feel like I've hit a brick wall once again. Um, I don't know how Ofcom are going to solve this problem. I mean, I think they could, BT Openridge could easily stall and and get the council, which I think is corrupt, I dare say, um, to basically screw me out of a, and my, and my family out of a good internet connection. Quite simply. I mean, you're probably thinking I'm just being like paranoid or something, right? But I didn't mention in my in my original video that I did participate in a network test that was run by the Plymouth University. And that happened over a series of maybe a year where they were like testing and sampling a whole bunch of people on super fast Cornwall. In, um, and, um, and basically the, the the research that they did uh, boiled down to this. this. This paragraph. However, the report did find that a small number of lines were unable to achieve more than four megabytes of upstream due to the premises distance. I mean, I'm only one kilometer away from that cabinet, I dare say. And basically they say here that, that future technologies, whatever they are, could, could reduce the impact. Can I, can I just say is that they, they have a second phase um, that they somehow are going to improve the internet in some areas, which doesn't include future technologies. It's the same old crappy technologies, I, I, I think. Anyway, these future technologies, I mean, this, this report is from a few years ago. Um, what are those future technologies, guys? I mean, what's happening? Uh, it's not, it's like... What kind of cop out is that? Like, oh, um, um, oh, sorry that we couldn't um, spend 132 millions improving your internet connection. But we we hope that like future technologies will somehow fix it. No. And the Paul Paul Dowlin, who who I believe ran ran the um, research program, said there was a there was a 73 page final report and a six page executive summary. And that turned into that, no joke. I asked him. I asked him for the for a copy, and he says he's not allowed to distribute it. Am I being paranoid? Um, I don't know. I think so. Maybe mm, a little bit. Or I think Supervised Cornwall are, have really screwed up. Really, really screwed up. I, I, uh, if I had a bit more money, um, I would, I would sue them. In all honesty, it's just, it's that bad. It's that bad. And um, I, I want to say thank you for all the YouTube comments and the emails that I've got thanks to my previous video. And I love to hear about your problems in Cornwall or in other rural places in England. Because uh, BT Operation is totally screwed up in, in the UK. It's just disgraceful. And, and uh, we need to find a solution. Um, Ofcom haven't done it. And um, we, we need to push them to allow us to lay fiber optic uh, on poles. That's the cheapest way to do it. Pull fiber optic to the cabinet and get a decent interconnection. I mean, and, 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 and we need to do this without all these rules and regulations and codes and bureaucracy and corruption for a change. So thanks for watching. And, and if you um, like what I had to say, please give me a thumbs up. And um, please feel free to contact me. Thanks, guys. I'll ask you one simple question over FaceTime. How is the internet connection in Cornwall at home at Bray's Farm?